Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we're gonna talk about the three things what I don't like to use in Revit. This topic based on the my experience, uh, I so it doesn't mean you shouldn't use it. Uh, it means uh, in my experience it working not really well. Maybe you will find this topic interesting and uh, you will take the some uh, ideas to your cases. If you are ready for this tutorial, let's get started. The first thing what makes the trouble in Revit, this is the walls that's calling the uh, with the layers. So as you can see, we have here the few layers. You cannot see it here the properly, but if you will go to the plain view, you can see we have here the lot of the layers. What the problem with the this type of the wall? The first problem, but it uh, really matter when you're working in big company or in, by some rules, for example, or by copy, you cannot divide it by layers. I mean the code. What I mean? So I have here the wall. I can use, for example, if I will go to the edit type, I can use only one assembly code for the one wall. As you can see it here, we waste the assembly code. And if we will go to the assembly code, we will find, for example, here the wall, for example, some of interior wall, waste the wall covering. And let's say this is, will be, I don't know, wall tiles and something like that, natural stone. You will see only one code we can apply for the this whole of this wall. Yes, you can say we can divide the our wall by parts. If we will divide by parts and we will select one of the parts, you are not able to change it. As you can see, it's not able to change it. Whenever you will che check, you cannot change it. And the makes it, it makes the trouble again to change the code for the all these walls. So I prefer to use and uh, most of the people also prefer to use dividing by construction wall interior wall architecture wall and creating separately so here is the my one wall as you can see and i can apply assembly code without any problem here is the assembly code and how it's working actually architect creating one wall for example this is construct wall and after that architect creating the another type of the wall let me I will create it here is the another type of the wall. I will use not mensary. Let me, I will use some interior thing for, for example, this one. And we will use like that. And the architect will create the another type of the wall. Of course, we should uh, switch off this layer. We will leave only one. Actually, even not like this because here is the plaster. So let me, I will make like generic wall like this. So architect creating wall, walls by walls. And now we can, yes, now we can without any problem apply the assembly code. You will say why we need the assembly code and uh, I should answer like this. Uh, just please check this video from the uh, Beam Guru. He really introduced it uh, really very well. I will leave the link to his channel below the video. Uh, check this video and you will understand why we are using the assembly code. This is especially for the students or the, for the entry architects. So check it because you will find it really useful. So this is number one. I not prefer to use layer wall because we have the problem with the assembly code. The second thing what you shouldn't use, it's really shouldn't, I think don't, everyone don't like this, when you're using the annotation. Annotation instead the text. What this means? For example, I have here the column. As you can see, there are all these things taking the data from these columns. So I'm going to the columns and I will change the K node. Here is the, my K node. Let me I will change to the, I don't know, hello I will write. And I will say OK. And what the problem? As you can see, here is changing case. No, why, why it's the going like that? Because this is just annotation, as you can see. Some architects just creating the this is annotation, like annotation. Yes, this is a faster, but this is after cut way. So uh, in a small range distance, the this idea will be more faster. Yeah, this is for sure. But for the long, you know, long distance, it's not will be working at all. Because if you will change something, really, you cannot automatically taking this data. Don't use it at all. If you cannot create, for example, the, your own K nodes, for example, you want to get not just uh, K node data, you want to get, for example, the data from the comment, you should, you, you should check the my tutorials because I have all the tutorials about that. If you uh, don't, you still cannot define it, uh, just let me know. I will create a new tutorial about that, how to create this type of the, your own, I mean, the tags. But 
please don't never don't use its annotation when you wanna create some data and place it on the sheet instead the tags now we will talk about the grouping grouping this is nice uh, thing what we have in revit but we have one noisy thing for the the managers and coordinators see, uh, see here we have a lot of the groups i have all the groups for each level but the problem is for example my client asking uh, write some parameter as you can see here is the group for the my wall for example if i will go to the my v manage i will go to the project parameters here i have some special parameter let me I will create one more special parameter because uh, client asking me create the parameter like test uh, integer for the client i don't know he want to calculate something and uh, this is parameter will be also the integer and uh, i will apply this parameter for all my walls as you can see here I'm using the instance it means I can apply different parameter for the same type of the wall so we shouldn't make uh, our problem as you understand let's okay let's say okay and now it's time going to the dynamo here is my dynamo and client asking uh, like like some script or something else doesn't matter when you will work in company some of the process you not will see as an architect because uh, the B manager is doing it on the backstage okay so let's run it uh, I'm running it and uh, I get the problem as you can see all the my walls now in the orange color it means we have some error and Revit giving us some advice let me I will ungroup he asking class ungroup the all the uh, our walls why actually I found this problem in 2021 and earlier and all this version but 2020 I didn't check it uh, right now so maybe they already fixed this problem but in previous version we have this problem so I have only one or uh, actually I have two option I should ungroup it or I can wrote all these uh, parameters manually so if I have one parameter it's not a big problem we can use the schedule but if I have a lot of the parameters which is uh, uh, calculating by Dynamo, for example, it just makes a big problem. I will ungroup it because I don't have any other chance. And as you can see, now our group is gone. It's just only the one type of the parameter. And as you can see, here is the test integer now. This is correct. Now without any problem. If I will change, for example, here the parameter and I will run it again. So now it's uh, changing without any problem. But once I will, for example, try to create or group it again, for example, this two walls as you can see I will try to make it a group and I will run it again I should change the number as you can see now it's not a big problem so because we don't have any instance we don't have any instance group so group it's working but uh, just uh, if you will try, try if you will try to copy this group let me copy it and I will paste it to the some other level let's for example for this level as you can see this is copying uh, our group here is main one here is the hosted I will run it again for example the six and we don't have any uh, problem till uh, we not will copy it we copy it and as you can see here is the problem so it should ungroup it so this is the main thing uh, what i want to share with you guys with this my experience you can say we can use the python actually no i tried a lot of the times to use the python uh, again you should ungroup it change the par parameter and again the group it and it will be already another group so it's again it's really painful if you find this tutorial really useful let me know below the comments i, I will try uh, to share with you with my experience much more than just i did right now thank you guys for watching and see you next time